it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to do print then cut. Um, this is specifically because I think we all need to do treat bags for Halloween <laughs> for all the kiddos at school. So um, we're just going to do it. So these are stickers and you can basically customize as much as you want. So Let's go into images. These are all images from Design Space. It's free. Um, I just typed in Halloween, but if you want to do exactly the one that I did, I guess we could do bats first. Um, and I wanted one. Oh, here it is. So there's a few of them. There's an orange one, a green one, and a purple one. Um, there's even one with a hat. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, so I'm going to show you the one with the hat as well. So let's bring those two in. And what's cool about print then cut is it took me a while to even figure out why I would want to do it because I was doing these big characters behind me and I just felt like the glitter cardstock was so pretty. Why do I want to print anything? But I mean, there's definitely occasions for when you want print and cut. And even, you know, with the cake toppers, when you have things that have a lot of um, details, you might not want to have to keep track of all those details like with the cut pieces. So, all right. So both of these bats, they are SVG files. And you can tell because each one of the items is a different cut piece, right? What's cool about taking an SVG file is that you can customize it before you turn it into a print and cut image. So for instance, let's say you really want the hat to be um red so you can click on where the hat is right over here and you can change it to oh you know what before we change it let's duplicate this um bat just so that you can see what it looks like um before we mess with it so let's make him a little bit smaller and as well as we're gonna ch flatten him okay so when we flatten him, instead of him being all these little pieces, he's going to be one piece. So let's flatten it. And it turns into like a really pretty print image as well. So you could see like his eyes look a little bit, um, I don't know, like almost glossier than as opposed to each one of these cut pieces. And you can kind of see the hat in comparison. Okay, so here he is flattened, right? He's one piece. So you're gonna send him to the printer, he's gonna print, then you're gonna send it to the Cricut machine and it will cut beautifully all around the bat. Um, or if we end up putting him on a sticker, it will cut the round circle. Okay, so let's start changing him. Let's say you wanna change his eyes to purple. So you can change it here, so this one. So can you see me? Okay, hold on. Let me move myself over. I'm gonna move it here so you can always see the panel. Okay, um, so let's grab the eyes here. Hit your shift key, grab the other eye. So both eyes, right? And now we wanna change it to, let's say you wanna change it to this light purple. There are his eyes. And let's say you wanted to change the tongue to green. You can change it to green. <laughs> But you can see what I mean. Um, there's just so many things that you can do. So you can really make this bat the way you want him to, right? When you're done, you can grab all of him. Hold on, this sticker is in the way. So let me move this sticker out of the way. When you're done, you wanna grab, oops. You wanna grab all of him and flatten and now i'm going to compare him next to the original right so it's just you know it's cool i mean for halloween we wanted these colors but if you had like um a bat party like for a birthday party and you had specific colors you can go in and change these things and then you can flatten it and have it cut out and printed all cutesy okay so here's my bat let's go and get my boo image And you can see there's so many things that you can choose from. Um, but let's see if I can find my exact boo spider web. Um, 
And the reason why I wanted to use that one was because I thought the spider was so cute and I don't see it. Okay, earlier I had, oh, there it is. I thought it was weird. Okay, so I'm gonna insert that one. And then let's go get the spider. Um, okay, there it is. It's coming. Okay, so this boo would have cut out all in one piece. I mean, it's kind of cool that it's all connected, right? I think it's cute. All right, so let's go back to images and let's get my spider. And I think that's it for this thing. I mean, it's that simple. Um, okay, so my spider was super cute. Here he is. <laughs> oh wait, we already had him. Oh no, he's the same as the bat. Oh my gosh, he looks exactly like the bat, except it's a spider. Okay. Now, I wanted this particular spider, because there is a small spider here, but I just thought he was so cute, and I wanted him in this one as well. So, um, the way I do this is, I always have one thing that is gonna be my size. So I'm saying everything needs to be relative to this boo sign, okay? So that means this spider is way too big, right? I never look at it and say, oh, I think my spider should be half an inch. Um, I just look at it in proportion to something else and then later we'll resize everything. All right, he looks pretty cute like that. So then to get him to attach to a string, all you do is you go into shapes, get a square. And I struggled with this when I first started with design space because I'm like, one, how do they not have a rectangle? And how about like a line? Duh, you just unlock it, make it thinner. Okay. Okay, let's, let's see how that looks. I think that's a little thick. So, because it's still unlocked, we can easily go up here and change the, the width. It's a little bit easier to control and type in the actual width than to try to do it with our mouse, right? So let's see what that looks like. Maybe even smaller than that. So let's see, 0.03. All right, I think that looks good. Now, my spider, do you see how the line goes in front of my spider? That's okay, my spider is highlighted right now. Go to arrange and send to the front. And there, now you can't see him, right? So here's my spider, let's type in. So, um, and I did from Brendan. And I like this font, I thought the font was cute. So I'm gonna change it up here. And obviously it's way too big. So again, size it to just the boo. Okay, so let's say we like that. And then what I did was I changed the color to make it really cutesy. So I'm gonna ungroup it. And then I really want the name to be the different colors, but I like the from being just a very Halloween color, which I feel like is purple, green, and orange. Um, that's the standard these days, right? <laughs> okay, so individually click each one of these and change to orange. Green. Purple is going to be this color as well as the A. So I'm going to grab both the E and the A. Let's see if it let me do that. It's every time I go to record a tutorial, I feel like design space gets really slow on me. <laughs> okay, am I on purple? Shoot. Yes, I think I'm on purple. Okay, yeah, it'll finally let me do the A. Okay, so the two ends are going to be orange. So shift. Grab the other end, and hopefully let me do that. Then I'm gonna go and change it to orange. I don't even know if I have the same orange anymore. Okay, so then my D needs to be green. Okay. 
All right, so here's the deal. If right now we actually don't put this white circle behind it and we just did this and we flattened it, what will happen is your sticker is going to cut around once it comes back. It will cut the F by itself, the R by itself, the O by itself, the M by itself. It is not what you want because you're gonna be peeling off each one of those things, right? You don't want this sticker to be in 25 pieces, right? We want it to be one solid circle piece that you just peel off like this stick it on the treat bag, and then you call it a day, right? <laughs> so let's bring in a circle. It could be a circle, a square, a star, a pumpkin, whatever you want it to be. But just when you're doing these things, it's always good to have an image in the back, like I said, so that your whole sticker isn't in pieces. Okay, so let's... First, let's make that white. And then we're going to bring this image over here and bring it to the front. Arrange, send to the front. Okay, so let's just put this inside the circle. It doesn't matter the size right now, okay? Oh, and I had one more bat up there. Okay, so hold on. So let's size this down here. And we had a bat. So let's bring this bat in, or any of these bats. I had this bat. Come on, okay. So arrange, send to the front. Resize him, put him wherever you want to, whatever angle. I think that looks good. Okay, so let's grab all of this and flatten so it becomes one piece, okay? And you can tell because on your right-hand side panel, um, it's still thinking, but it's this one right here, the one that's selected. It is now one piece. And do you see how there's a circle behind it and it's white? It's kind of hard to see. I probably should have done, here, let's make a duplicate. and I'm gonna unflatten. So if you wanna make changes, you can still make changes to it. I'm gonna unflatten it. I'm gonna change my circle to a light gray just so that you can see it. This is not what I want to do, but um, just so you can see the circle. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab all this and I'm gonna flatten it. So what will happen is um, the Cricut is going to cut around the whole circle. So this whole thing is going to be on one circle sticker, just like this. And that's what you want because you don't want the boo to be one thing and then weed out the little spider web here and then the bat is by itself. That's definitely not what we want, okay? All right, so let's get rid of these bats for now. And let's resize these two things. So right now this is a a little bit over five inches. I would imagine you're either gonna do one and a half, two or two and a half inches. So you could just go to width and do, let's say one and a half. And it will resize in a second there. And then this one, let's do this one at two. And then let's go to the make it screen so you can see what it looks like. So I would just do one sticker, or in this case, because there were two names, it was Riley and Brendan, and then I did two stickers to show you what that would look like. So we have four stickers. But what I would do is once it gets onto this screen and once it comes up for us, <laughs> then I would change the number of copies here. What you don't wanna do is, let's say you wanted to do 30 of these, don't do it on the previous screen and do 30 copies. It's gonna slow down your, your design space like crazy. So what you wanna do is just do the one and then go here and change it to, let's say, 
20 copies and then apply and then what will happen is it will automatically make 20 copies of each one of these items in a minute I did hit apply right okay so it's thinking I think um, so when you go to continue you're gonna hit send to printer it's gonna print out just like this and what it's telling you is put this on your mat in the top left hand corner so you put it in the top hand top left hand corner this black registration mark it this design the your Cricut is going to go in and read those sensor marks so that it knows how much further to go in to cut perfect circles around here so you're going to have beautiful stickers just like this that you can use for um, for the treat bags. But I mean, just think about all the different things that you can make. You can just make stickers in general. Um, if you have a sticker collection or if you do journals or planners, you can create your own stickers and personalize them um, to your colors, add your name, all of that. And you can do different, um, different shapes. So this isn't really working for me. So let's go to cancel. I wanna show you some cool shapes too while we still have a few minutes. Um, if it'll let me because I was just thinking how cute would this be if it was in the shape of a pumpkin or a bat or even a spider um okay doesn't look like it's gonna happen so I'm gonna end this video here <laughs> comments or questions please let me know if you have a special design or request also let me know here so YouTube Facebook or Instagram and then once you post it you can send me an email as well so it's an a n at the all right thanks guys have a great evening